Hi everybody, my name is Susan Sechi and I'm an award-winning children's book illustrator. One of my latest books is Yes, I Can Listen, written by Steve Metzger, illustrated by me. As you can see from this little sticker here, the book won the California Reading Association Silver Award in non-fiction category. Yes, I Can Listen is a charming look at all the different ways listening to the world around us, and it can help your child at home and at school. When I listen, I can learn from books and teachers too. Safety rules, a brand new game, a different point of view. The book is available in your local, local bookstore or online. Please see mo more details in the description. But today we are here to learn how to draw baby pigs. So we are going to draw this little guy, learn how to create this little girl and this little spotty cutie pie. Let's get started. While I am going to draw on my Vacuum Cintiq and Photoshop, there is no reason why you couldn't follow me or do the same thing with traditional media if you don't have electronic device to draw it. But now really, let's get started. So how I normally start drawing uh, baby animals, or for the matter of fact, any kind of animals, I really love to find some references first. Why? Because even though you think you know how a regular pig looks like, uh, it's always good to check out the real animal uh, proportions, the, the most important features, how the little nose looks, how the ears are attached, what shape the whole body is. So what you can see here, I, I drew first a blue pencil sketch. Um, this is just the very first sketch for finding the main shapes. Also, baby animals uh, have different proportions. So as you can see here like very clearly, the proportions of these little guys, one big head and exactly the size of the head is the body and probably a third of the head size is for the legs. I decided to go with some kind of uh, design which is a uh, half animal, half child look. So that's why uh, the little pigs are standing on two legs and wearing clothes. So they can be suitable for a fairy tale or a children's book, a picture book, for example. I imagine their age is approximately maybe two years old or something similar. So also notice that, uh, especially in this little boy, the body has a very generic shape. Basically, it's like a bean bag. The bottom is a little bit bigger and everything is smooth. For the third little guy, I found a real pig, a real little pig's photo. And the first try with the blue lines is basically more or less following the realistic look of a real piglet. You are going to notice it. Uh, the body proportions are more or less the same, but the pose of the little pig is more realistic, more true to a real piglet. I imagined also this this little character could go into a fairy tale book or a picture book. So I changed a little bit the proportions. What you can see here, I enlarged the ears for the cuter look and also 
I need his little head a little bit more roundish and smoother perhaps than the uh, more realistic approach with the blue lines. Also uh, here uh, the little pig's eyes are just two dark dots. To sum up, to successfully draw baby animals you have to keep in mind a few things. First of all the proportions. The proportions are a little bit weird. So babies have big head, small body, relatively short legs and arms, almost non-existent neck, in our case at least. And in general, the features are soft and roundish. To make them even cuter, you can always exaggerate one feature, like I did with the ears. I decided to color my drawings and as you can see above the head of the little characters there are a bunch of colors. I sampled them previously, choosing them carefully. Uh, they are all soft pastel colors, something that I thought would be suitable for babies. You can see first I just plug the colors because I'm in, I'm in Photoshop and then later I go further with the details. As you can see here, the little baby boy got a different kind of skin, a little bit yellowish, although his little nose and ears are more pinky. He has droopy eyes, looks kind of sleepy, you know, like somebody who doesn't want to take their nap. With the details, what you can see I'm working on, I'm, I'm also trying to add uh, some kind of texture with my brushes. Basically the main reason for that is to trying to avoid of the digital look and also make the character a little bit more exciting, more attractive. He also got some brightly colored outfit that is suitable for a toddler. For the last touches I also applied for some little shiny points, shiny lines over his nose and his ear. To sum up um, with the colors, probably it's a good approach to choose a bunch of them beforehand. Uh, something that is suitable for babies. You can do a little online research, look at baby products, baby's rooms or baby's toys or um, clothing to get some ideas. 
You can also notice that I didn't overcomplicate the drawing. Some parts may look uh, unfinished, but I think it adds to the charm of the whole design. Experimenting is fun and it is also the way to discover new things. So for the third little guy, I decided to go for something different, a different look. As you can see, he got um, kind of like an ochre, a light brown fur and first kind of warm brownish ears and some spots on his body. However, later I decided to change it because I just didn't like the look. So later he gets darkish ears and dark spots, which I think make him look very cute. He also got eventually a little red t-shirt or pullover with white stripes. I think it complements very well the fur of this little guy. With another kind of brush I also added later some textures which shows his uh, body is actually covered with fur. Although in these three drawings I used traditional colors, colors that could occur on, on real pigs or close to the real animals look, it would be very interesting to experiment with using, I don't know, blue or purple for their skin. That is one of the beauty of children's book illustration. You can go wild if you want. Don't forget to hit the like button, you can subscribe for more videos and follow me on Instagram or visit my website to see more art which is www.brainmonsters.com. Thank you for watching.